are live. Hey guys, it's Heather Boyd Wire here and it's 1 p.m. Eastern time here in Montreal. I'm going to try to do my live streams every week at this time, so let's see how that goes. And I'll just pull up the video on my computer and turn the sound down. There we go. Oh, it's up. Perfect. So if you're hopping on, let me know where you're, uh, where you're uh, watching from. I can't always 100% uh, guarantee I'm going to be able to answer your uh, questions and stuff, but I'll do my best because usually what I do on the live stream is I troubleshoot new ideas. So this week, it's an idea from Debbie. She actually messaged me on Etsy. Ophine is here from Florida. Hey, how are you? So today we're doing these really cool snowflakes made out of sea glass and wire. So I think, I don't know if it's a design that she saw at a craft show or something, but uh, they look really cool. So I dug out my sea glass and we're gonna see what we could do. So there's Clarice. Hey Clarice, how are you? You're always one of the first ones on. And Lila is here. I'm from Illinois, awesome. So you guys have about the same temperature as we do. And actually it's a mild day today, so that's super nice. You can see all my art collection in the back. I have a lot of art from fellow artists in my house, which is super nice. And uh, I think what I'll do is just to get started, I'll flip the screen and we can we can get going on the on the project today. So let me flip over the screen. I'll just flip it and Let's see if I, maybe I'm going to turn it this way and sorry guys, let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, this is going to be better because then my cord's on the other side. So, oh, I think we're upside down now. Are we upside down? Let's see if I'm going to put my hands here and see if we are upside down. Yeah, we are a little upside down. Okay, so that's fine. I think we're going to be good like that. I don't think it's a big deal. So let me move this a little bit closer. Okay. And let me find the picture again. You just saw my whole camera roll. So here we go, and I'm gonna try to watch at the same time. So I'm upside down, I'm gonna see how it goes. So Janine is here, and Lavender's here, and Kathy and Angie, uh, Kat, yes, Kat, sorry, Andrea, I just read, um, Kat, I just read the your username first. So here we go, so here's the design. And hopefully I'm not going to be upside down here. I might have to flip this around a bit. You know what? I think I'm going to flip it around again, or this is going to be in the way. I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm going to show you guys my sea glass collection. So here's a bunch of my sea glass here, and I use it to do all kinds of arts and crafts and different things. So here's a bunch of the sea glass. A lot of it is stuff I collected. Some of it is stuff that uh, you can actually buy sea glass at Michael's. So that's, uh, that's uh, a really great alternative if you don't live near the beach. And Debbie's here. Hi, Heather, my first live stream. Awesome. Okay. I was just watching your other videos and the notification. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. So guys, what I'm going to do is the first design, I'm going to actually try to do it similar to how it's done there. And it looks like they're all wrapped individually and then attached together. It might be one continuous wire, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think what I'm going to do is try to do it in pairs, and then I'm going to attach them at the end after, because I have done snowflakes where I've done something similar to that. So let me just do it, go that route. I'll move it to the side while we're working, and I'll bring back the picture uh, sort of in between time. So uh, Lavender says, pretty, yeah, it's a cool design. Yeah, no, it's really, um, people send me stuff all the time, which is really fun. Sometimes I'm able to do it, sometimes not, but I always, I like these live, live streams because I could troubleshoot different ways to, uh, to work out designs. And you guys know that sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. So it's always a challenge. So I have some 22 gauge wire here, and this is actually wire just from Michaels. It's not like any fancy wire or anything. I think it's just some utility craft wire. And so what I'm gonna do is qu cut quite a big piece because if I have to wrap uh, both pieces of glass, we'll want quite a bit. So let's cut about three to four feet of wire. And then for the next one, I can always do less. We're gonna see how it goes. So that looks like almost four feet, but which is probably way too much. And then what we would want to do is start it in a way that is maybe about a third of the way down. We can start our wrap. 
And I haven't wrapped a stone like this in a while. So usually what I do is I just would give, make it, give it a little bend. I usually just help it out by starting, starting off by doing a little bend like that. That's usually how I wrap stones. I haven't done it in a long time. And then I'll just place it in here. That gives it a little bit of a lip just to sit on. And we're going to go around here. So just... Joe says, hi, Heather and Chad, I'm so excited. Yes, so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah, it's always a challenge. So often when I wrap the stones, I just start with that little dip there, and then I, I do an initial wrap just like this. Now, you guys probably have other ways that you wrap, which is, you know, whatever works for you is great. The idea is try to get this in like wrapped in a way that it's going to hold in place. That's the main thing is we want to make sure it stays in place. And I'm just going to also, yeah, so it's not really going to look much like the original design, but like I said, you could definitely experiment. So sometimes I just wrap it around uh, kind of in a way like that. And then after I'll tighten it up a bit. So I usually do something like that. And then it looks like they've just spiraled down to the other end, but I'm seeing that I'm going to run already. I'm going to run out of wires. So I'm going to just make shift now because I need a longer piece on the other side. And then I'm going to estimate how big I want my snowflake to be. So let's say we're going to start the other end around there. Okay. I don't want it too big actually. Let's, let me bring it in a little bit more. So I'm going to bring it into about probably about four inches and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do like a little bit of a lip on there and then on the other side let's put another one that's like proportionate in size. So we want to hold it here and then around here. Okay and I'm missing I'm missing the chat guys but I'll, I'll check them after too. So Shadow Princess says hi Heather I was watching your other videos and notification. Yes awesome that's fantastic. Yeah, those notifications are great. So don't forget to hit the notification bell. So you get those, that's awesome. So let's just flip this around. So this is our initial like spot to just to get, hold it in place. Okay. And then I usually would like to wrap it around a couple more times and then back down. Okay, so this is, it's not a super fancy wrap, but it, it kind of works. So like I said, any way that you have to, to wrap, is good so what we have is this type of thing and then it looks like for the for the design that they did is we're just going to wrap this back in it just gives it a little bit more of uh, strength when you wrap it when you wrap the wire back over the initial wire it's going to give it make it stronger otherwise it's going to be like super flimsy so I'm just gonna I don't want to have too many wires here although this should be good you know what I'm going to keep this one because I think we're going to use it to make the spiral so I will keep that one and then I'm going to go back here and uh say, sorry I'm late no problem we're just getting started and uh thank you Debbie that's really kind of you and uh this is, hi, Dada Doe, I love her babies. Oh, that's so, you guys are awesome. I'm afraid the, the live streams aren't always super clear, but we're here just to troubleshoot ideas. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to, sorry for the squeaky sound, but it's hard because the camera is right above where I'm working. So it's not always easy to capture everything. So see what I've done here? I've, I've attached one on either end. I'm going to trim this wire a little bit. Actually, I think I'll leave it for now. We'll see what we're going to need. So this I used four feet of wire, and it seems to be sort of the right, the right length for that, So which is good. So now I'm going to cut another piece that's about that size. And Jojo uh, says gives more stability. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Definitely when you wind the wire back. In fact, if you needed to even wind more, you probably could because that's the key. You want it to be really stable. So now we're going to do another one. Okay. And then I'm going to cut. So we want to do three pieces of wire like that. So that's the key. If we have three pieces of wire, it's, uh, it will make six points of the snowflake. 
So that's really good. So maybe what I'll do now is I'm going to flip the screen again. Let's see if this is going to work. There we go. Let me flip the screen because sometimes it's really hard to be able to work underneath the um, underneath the, the camera because I only have like a foot of space to work. So if I do it this way, it might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. So what I'm going to do is start about a third of the way. And the same thing we're going to do, I don't know if this works to show you here. We're going to do like a little, a little dip to the side and then up there. And that just creates a little space to hold the stone and then we're good or the glass and then we're going to put it in there and this is much easier than working underneath and then we're going to wrap this around here and then just that's what I do I start with whoops of course it fell out we start with this initial wrap around and then we're going to go up and down and if you haven't already hit that thumbs up to show you there. Oh, you, that's so nice. You're awesome. So we're going to go around, wrap it there, and then wrap it back. And if you have easier ways to wrap these stones, by all means, please use your own method. The idea is just so it won't fall out, right? So now we're going to do the other side. So I'll compare it to the first one we did because we want it to be, we want these areas to be like the distance to be the same. Same thing. So we're going to make a little lip here to hold the glass. I think I've cut this wire a little bit too long this time, but it's all right. And I didn't have the ideal shape of sea glass for this project. So I'm kind of making do with what I have. But like I said, you can, if you don't have sea glass, you can either buy it at Michael's or you can uh, probably order it online. I actually order a lot of my supplies from Etsy which is, uh, which is really cool. And um, there's often even free shipping. Like if you search supplies on Etsy and click the free shipping search option, you can find uh, suppliers that will ship supplies to you for free, which is awesome. Uh, so last night I actually ordered some 1.5 millimeter uh, cord, some uh, wax cotton cord, uh, which I use for necklaces. And I also, ordered I ordered my miracle beads on there which is cool and Melissa says I bought some really cool sea glass from Etsy that's fantastic so guys we have two let's do one more and I already cut the wire the right length in fact I think these might be a little long but so same thing we're going to start from here we're going to push this up to make our little lip to hold the glass put it in here and then wrap it around Okay, so we have our initial wrap and then bring that around, full turn around and then bring it back and I'll show you how we can make these a little more fancy after. Like this is just like a really basic wrap, but we could definitely fancy them up a little bit after. Let me just bring this one down. The main thing is you want them to hold in place and not to fall out. Okay, so we're going to bring this one down too a little bit. and. Now we're going to measure it. So let's compare it with this one to make sure they're the right distance apart. Perfect. And now we're going to do the lip again and stick this in. So Melissa says, does this style of wrap, oops, let me just, I missed the, the comment there. Does this style of wrap work with non-drilled stones? Yeah, these are not drilled. This glass is not uh, drilled at all. So these are, I'm just wrapping around the outside of the glass. And now I've lost my other piece. So let me dig in here and find another piece of glass. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I have a little bit of a collection and people give me glass, which is really cool. So here's another little piece. And I don't often go to the ocean, but when I do, I always look for, for sea glass to see. But they, they actually manufacture sea glass now. It's not, the stuff you buy in Michaels is not stuff that people picked up on the beach. It's stuff that they, they probably tumble it in a way that it, uh, that it creates a sea glass kind of effect. So there we go. So in fact, I don't know if you have a stone tumbler, uh, let me know in the comments if anybody has one. Maybe you can manufacture your own sea glass. I'm not quite sure.
how that works. So uh, that would be cool. I think when I was a kid, I had one of those tumblers, so one of those cheap ones, but I don't even remember if it actually worked. When I was a kid, I had a ton of craft kits and stuff. Jenna says, hi everyone coming in. She's using sea glass. Okay, cool. So this gauge wire is actually a 20 gauge wire. It's just a utility craft wire from, well, it's in the jewelry section at Michael's. So uh, I think it's non-tarnished, but it's nothing fancy. I often will use the artistic copper uh, non-tarnished wire, which is cool. So guys, we have three pieces like this. So now I think I'm gonna flip the screen again and we're gonna have a look and see what we can do. So there we go. Uh, it's 20 gauge wire, yeah. So let's flip this around, perfect. And then this is in the way, so I'm gonna move that cord. Okay, so so what are we making? making? So let me bring the photo back to show you guys what we're making for the people that are just hopping on now. So this is what we're making. We're making these little um, snowflakes and this was a special request from Debbie. So now what we wanna do is create a sort of a spiral effect in the middle and looks like they put another stone in the, another glass in the middle too. So let me see if I could find another piece of glass. So here's my, I'm just gonna bring the camera up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So this is not in the way so here's my collection of sea glass so let's see if I can find another little piece to go in the middle here's a flat one here maybe we can use that one okay and yeah the, the glass is awesome it's just stuff I've collected and things that I've bought at Michael's which is really cool so some of these I have to trim them a little bit so now what we have to do is figure out how we're going to put them all together so usually what I do is when I make um, when I make actual snowflakes uh, out of just plain wire I would just at this point attach them I'm not clip I it would be easier if I had clipped these edges off but I want to keep them so I could form a spirals on them so what I'm going to do now is just use the one that has the longer the longer wire and just gradually twist it around and this is how I do uh, I think I have some tutorials on how to make regular snowflakes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these wires up out of the way okay so they're not like sort of in the way here and this one okay this one would go I guess down here and then we want to attach all three of these. So this one too, it has a long piece. I'm gonna cut that off. So now we're going to attach this one. Yeah, it would be much easier if I just got rid of some of these edges, but I'm these wires, I'm just gonna move them up out of the way so they're, so they're not gonna be in the way. So there, now we're going to put this one. So what we've done is we're lining up all these three like in the snowflake formation and then we're using one base wire that we started wrapping with let me just see which one that was that's that one okay so now we're going to keep wrapping around with this wire here so we're just going to wrap it around and this is just going to stabilize them all and hold them together so this looks super complicated, but what I might do after this is do another design that's maybe not so complicated, just to show you guys other options of, of how I could do a snowflake. And so let's just keep wrapping these around. See, I don't know how centered this one is. I could bring it down a little bit. It's highly likely that this is gonna be lopsided, but I'm gonna just do my best just to get it held together. So we're gonna bring this around. And this is the idea. And like I said, if it's easier just to clip all those wires and deal with them later, you could definitely do this. But the idea now is we're just, it's almost like when you do a spider web, we're just stabilizing it now in the middle. So I think if we go around enough times, it should be good, so like that. And then what they did was they formed some other spirals, but what, I want to do first so we want to make sure there is a wire okay let me just bring this one back here okay we want to make sure there's a wire sticking up from each each branch okay because we're going to form a spiral with that 
Okay, and this one I'm going to bring over here. And don't worry too much about how this looks because it's going to get covered up. So I'm definitely not watching comments right now because I just want to kind of get going with this. But I'll have a look once I've done this step to to if there are any comments. So this one is going to come up here. Okay, let me bring this one down a little more. We have to wrap it a little bit more. Okay. And I will show you guys an easier way to do this after because this obviously is a bit of a hot mess, but it gives you an idea of how to do this. So what we have now is each end has a wire sticking up, okay? And then it looks like they do sort of a little piece in the middle just to make it a little more kind of fancy. And so what you could do with that is take one of these wires and just attach this one in the middle okay so we're going to attach that one here and hopefully it'll stay the more your piece is um, asymmetrical the more easy it's going to be to hold in place okay so let's give this one more wrap around here good i do not know how we got here but somehow we got here guys so now we want to go and um make some spirals my phone's ringing, but just let me... I'm, actually, I'm just going to leave it. Okay. <laughs> it, they hung up already. That's good. Okay. So now, looking good. Thank you. So let's, cut, let's trim these so they're all the same size, these. And we're going to make spirals with these. So if we go around and just trim them so they don't have to be exactly the same size, but mainly you want to cut off any little ends that are the least bit pointy or something. And then we want to make some spirals. So uh, my favorite way to make spirals is just to get a cone shape. And of course, I cannot find my cone shape right now. So I'm going to use a Sharpie. And we're just going to take this and then just wrap it around. Let's wrap these all around to start forming our spirals. So we're going to go around here. So it says, uh, Debbie says, the center sea glass looks like a heart shape. Yes, yeah, it does look like a heart shape. And that's just lucky because sometimes you just don't know what kind of pieces you're going to have. And um, at Michael's, like I said, they have bag, mixed bags of different sea glass. I actually have to pick some up soon because in December I'm doing a workshop. I'm teaching kids at the library how to make ornaments with sea glass and it's actually an ornament that looks like an angel and I'll, I'll link up I have a video for that so I'll link that up below that one it's really cute it's how to make an angel with a piece of sea glass so guys now it's all spiraled and what we have to do now is just tighten up our I'm just going to move this over here a little bit more sorry uh, I have to tighten up our spiral so I'm going to do that here so now, we, to tighten up the spirals, you just use the round pliers and just pull these in here. So we're going to use the round pliers. We're going to pull these in. Okay, and sometimes it's easier just to do it by hand. So we'll pull it in with the pliers and then just really bring them in here. So there's one spiral and then the process, of course, is to get them all done. So let's just wind them in. It's a little awkward for me because I'm under the camera and it's a little bit hard to access them, but it's okay if between the pliers and my hands, I should be able to get them in. Now they might not, these spirals might not be perfect just because like I said, it's hard, a little bit hard for me to access how to get in the middle here, but should be pretty good. And then, like I said, after this, I'm gonna try a quickie uh, snowflake uh, in the regular way that I do it and we'll try to attach the glass. So we're going to try that and Galen says California is very warm in November. I can imagine. Yeah. And Jenna Joe says amazing. This was a, a quick little wire craft. Well, I wouldn't call it super quick, but it's not too bad considering the complexity of the design. Uh, it's not too bad. So if I, um, if I had a little more time, I could definitely experiment with it more, but it, it actually, this is sort of, the concept is pretty good. So if you cut three pieces of wire 
And then attach, uh, wrap a piece of sea glass on either end of the wire. And then you wrap the these three uh, sticks together as to form the snowflake. That works pretty well. And the only glitch I find with this design is I found that um, the, sorry, I'm just trying to, there's an end sticking up here. I just find that it's a little awkward with all the random pieces of wire that you have to, you know, wrap together and stuff. But I think you can kind of experiment with that and see. So let's just pull these in place. Okay, so these spirals are all done. I'm gonna just push them in so they're a little more tight. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten them up a little bit more. Okay, and then you can always like, it's always good to put it on a table to do your adjusting part. So then we're gonna just kind of stretch it out, pull them out like, uh, okay, this goes to there. This one should go there, sorry. So they're not 100% centered, but that's the idea. So now these, these spirals, we wanna move them in a little bit too, just to get them on top. Okay, so it's like a, just lining up these lines like this. So yeah, it's not perfect. Like it's a little lopsided, but that's the design guys. It's not too bad. So let's get the, let's get the original photo to see how it looks and we'll compare them. Oh, there we go. So here's, here's the original photo like that and it's pretty darn close it's not too bad so that's cool and then I'll take a, a picture and put it in the Facebook group and what I'm going to do now is show you guys another design for a snowflake that could be um, that could be good too so let me flip the screen again and there we go perfect so I'm gonna flip the screen now I have this thicker wire. This wire I, I did buy on Etsy. It's a great wire. It's 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. Super soft, very easy to work with. Sometimes it's a little too soft because it doesn't always hold its shape. But just for the sake of working out a design, I'm going to try to use this. So we're going to cut quite a bit. I don't know how much. It looks like 18, 36, maybe about 60 inches of wire, maybe a little less. So Melissa says colored wire would work well. Yes, colored wire would be good too. So now to make, I'll show you guys how I make uh, just a regular freeform snowflake. Sometimes I make earrings like this, but I make two at the same time, very small, much smaller, and they're super cute too. And that's one of my little jewelry hacks on how to make two um, earrings at the same time. And so now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just trying to remember how I start this one. So basically, Hopefully you guys can see, maybe if I move to the side or if I move to this side, maybe you could see it a little better. So the idea would be, it's a simple snowflake where you just, okay, I'm gonna bend it. So the design is you do kind of one bend like that and then another bend like that and then just down here, okay. So where could I find the hand-wired snowflake on your site? So the hand-wired snowflake, I don't uh, sell those. Is, is that what you mean, the one that we just made? I do, I do sell the, um, the snowflake earrings in my, in my Etsy shop. They're probably, I have to renew the listing because it's probably something that I was selling last, uh, last year. But this design with the glass is not my design. It's a design that Debbie sent me. And uh, so yeah, so I don't sell those. They're just uh, ones that you guys can make yourself. So here we go. I hope I'm not going to run out of wire. I'm a little bit worried. See, we're just forming the snowflake like this. If I run out of wire, I'm not going to want to start again, but I'll figure something out. So this is sort of a, the basic snowflake. We've been making them like this for a long time. Uh, we used to sell at a lot of craft shows and um, festivals and things like that. And so this was a design that we used to uh, sell to go on the Christmas tree, but uh, I don't really make this one so much anymore. But it's a fun design. Do you see how it's coming along? In fact, 
uh, I think at one point my husband made a template on how to create this design just by putting a bunch of nails on a piece of wood. But the trouble with that is you end up having a lot of nails on the wood because there's so many bends. So this one I found it was almost easier to do it by eye because it's a, a more complex design. And like I said, if you're doing earrings like this, you could put the two pieces of wire together and, um, and just form the earrings together. So I don't know if I'd have time to show you that, but I'll definitely show you guys this one. It's not exactly the way I wanted to go with this, but I thought I'll just do this basic shape because you can always make a basic shape like this and then add the sea glass on top. So that would work too. So we're just going to go around and we want to do, you have a great eye. <laughs> yeah, this is just practice and honestly it's not 100% um, lined up. It, like it's not 100% proportionate, but it has you know once you have six uh, sides you won't notice if one or two sides aren't exactly perfect so that's good and so how many we have one two three four five so we'll do one more and if I look cross-eyed it's because I'm trying to <laughs> look at the piece at the same time but it's all good so we're gonna bring this up here and then I want to finish it in the middle so what I'm gonna do is just finish this up okay so we have see like that so we have it like that and so now I'm going to finish this piece uh, like and go down towards the middle because I want to finish it in the middle so we're just going to take this one finish the edge okay back and forth there okay so we have the whole snowflake done but what I want to do now is I'm going to trim that end a little bit Okay, and then we want to finish it in a way that it's in the middle. So let me flip the screen again. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to flip the screen again. That's the other one that we did. Oh, the cord is in the way. Now why is that doing that? Okay, let me flip it this way. Sorry, guys. We're going to be a little upside down, but that's okay. So here is our basic shape. Okay, so we're going to pull this in a little bit and we want to all the all the edges to fit together. So if we go in here, maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to bend this up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to hold that there. So the the trick is always how to finish the piece, right? So normally I would finish it up here and hang it by a little ribbon, but because we want to try this sea glass thing, I'm just going to bring this in here, okay, and I'll trim that, okay, and then this one too. I seem to remember making one like this before. Oh, you know what I, I did with this one before? This is, this is causing me to remember that I used to make brooches with the, with the, um, as a snowflake in this design and I used to attach a little brooch like a pin there that's that's why this is seeming familiar to me so when I used to make like a little a little snowflake pin and then I put like a little heart bead in the middle so here's the snowflake and let's see if this is going to work if we add some pieces so now we want to line this up a little bit because the other thing I was thinking is I could have just left these straight and then put some pieces on the end because I was thinking we could just in fact I might I might do that I might just let me get some more colorful pieces let's see what we can find we can find I we'll just want to find some pieces that work well together maybe some littler maybe some little littler pieces I have blues and greens that might work I just want to maybe make them slightly alternating colors so we have there's a blue one there maybe the kind of a turquoisey one so if we have maybe six different pieces that are the same more or less the same side one two three four five maybe a different green one because that one's not super flat maybe like that or something yeah that might be okay they're not perfect, but they're okay. So let's try. You know what, guys? I'm going to leave this one 
like that because this is sort of a classic design that I've made as earrings and pins and decorations. So this one, you can, and I'll take a picture of that for the cover photo as well. So this is something that, you know, is nice on its own. But what I want to try to do is make something a little bit different, like sort of the idea of the first design, but I want to make it a little bit different. So... What I was thinking to do is actually just to take, I don't know if I should make them round or square, maybe just kind of make them triangular. So if I do, if I do kind of just a triangular shape, let's see how this is gonna work. This is, this is like we're in total experimental mode here now because I'm not, I hadn't planned what I was gonna do here. So, but if I do sort of a, this kind of shape, like a triangular shape, okay? So this is gonna be our basic shape for the snowflake. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try something different. So if we do that, and then on this side, okay, same thing. We're gonna do like a little triangular shape. Okay, I think this wire is gonna be way too long. Okay, so we're gonna do a little triangular shape here. Okay, and then the trick now would be to get them all the all the, the uh, sides the same. Let's just go back on our, ourselves. And that way, 100% sure, they're gonna all be the same length. So if we go, we wanna create three sides like this, okay? So we're just using our first one as the template for the next side. So we've got two now. We're gonna bring it back down here and then trace it for the third side. Okay, we're gonna bring it down here. And I know for sure I've cut this one way too long, but that's okay. So we have, okay, we have one, two, we need one more. So we're gonna bring this down here and then do another one. So we'll trace this one here. And this might or might not work, but we're gonna give it a try and see. So we're gonna bring this one down here, okay. And uh, most of the snowflakes are not perfect. Yes, well, that's that's a good thing. And they're all different, which is which is super cool and magical. So let's bring this one around here. And so what we have now is our initial shape with the three sides. And I'm going to go ahead and trim one of these. Okay. And then the idea of this is we want to find the halfway point. Okay, so let's just see where the halfway point would be, probably about there. And then if we want one here, let's see if we do one here and here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely experimental. And then this one here, okay, and then one here, we're gonna bend this one. Okay, so we're gonna bend that one here and this one. I don't know if this was the best approach, but this is sort of like the idea. Yeah, it might've been better just to do them individually, but this is just to give you an idea of how we can maybe make them all the same size. Okay, so if we go ahead and I'm gonna just maybe bend one around here, okay. This might or might not work, but that's okay. So we're gonna bend one around here. And then this one, it looks kind of funny, but we're gonna add stuff to it. So that's why uh, this that's why this one could be cool. And then this one, you know what I might do? Just because it seems to be nicely attached here, maybe what I'll do is make a little spiral or something on this one, just to make it a little more fancy. And we'll see how it goes. So if we just take our round pliers and bring it around okay we'll just bring it around here okay and get our pull this in a little bit because I want this one to be a little tighter and we'll bring this in and this one this wire might have been a little thick I probably should have used a thinner wire with this but that's okay we're just going to try it like that so now we have like a basic shape uh, it's definitely not proportionate but that's okay and then what I was thinking is maybe just to attach 
a glass on each one like that. So what I'll do is just get a piece of, I'm going to stick with the aluminum wire just because it's, uh, to, it's the same color. So if we go ahead and then hold this one on here and just wrap it around and the advantage is it's got like the little back on it to hold it in place. So if we just kind of wrap it around, let's see if it's going to stay and around. I'm not really paying much attention to <laughs> what I'm doing here. It's just kind of random, but let's just stack those two wires on top of each other and then we could bring these back down a little bit too if we wanted to okay and you can even clip that so I'm not loving the way this is looking but it's all right it's just it's just that's how you learn right you just experiment and so if we go back down here and what happens if we wrap it on top of each other uh, maybe not. I don't like that it's looking like kind of a little bit too kind of tight there, but we can just see. So anyways, that's the idea that you could put like a piece there. So let's just go ahead and do them all because maybe it'll look better once they're all done. And we'll just keep adding some pieces on there. So I'll put a darker one on the other side. If it's not a big enough piece, you can always see if there's another, like maybe wider piece to go on there just to cover the wire. I'm not sure if that one's big enough. Here, oh, this one's better. Here's a big, a better one. So if we put that one on there, it's a little dark, that one, but it's all right. I think it should be fine. So we're just gonna wrap that around. Same idea. We just keep wrapping until it stays and then this too we can stack these on top of each other a little better um, like I said the, the design for this isn't quite working as well as I as the first one I think the first one so far is the best but it's not too too bad so we'll just keep wrapping it like that and bring that one around I think it's turning out good oh well thank you I think I think this one has potential I think it definitely uh, needs, the design needs a little bit of work, but I think I think the idea is, is good of doing like a base shape and then going from there. So we can keep adding our pieces on there and be sure if you guys make any of these to share them, to share pictures in the, in the group, in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. And uh, if, you, uh, if you don't have Facebook, don't worry, you could always email me pictures and I could share them here in the community section of the Facebook page where we have quite a large collection of, of creations that people have made. And then I make slideshows of people's work, which is super fun. So I think we're working up to slideshow number a nine of your guys creations which is really awesome and then that gives me so many cool ideas for new uh, tutorials and stuff when you guys put your own spin on things I think it's just really fun it's awesome so there we go so let's just cut that one off and then bend this one around a little bit and then I'll show you I forgot to show you on the other one how to do some finishing touches with the uh, with the wrapping of the wire, so I'll I'll definitely show you guys that one as well. So see, so far we have three. This part I'm not 100% sold on. I find it a little bit too coil-like. Like I I don't know. It's just it's not it's not quite what I had in mind. I I find it a little bit too um, I don't know how do you say kind of mechanical looking. So I would definitely do something different with that. That one's not big enough. So we're gonna do, put this one on here. Yeah, these pieces I find they're not quite the right shape. I'm just gonna see if I have some more pieces here that would be good. Yeah, maybe I can put another dark one maybe. How about I put another one dark one on there? I'm gonna do that. Just otherwise we're gonna have like one dark piece there. So let's just, we'll just keep it in sort of a similar uh, color scheme and we'll put the, the dark one here. Okay, and same thing, we wanna somehow attach it on there and then wind this bit right down. 
Okay, we're gonna wind it down. Clarice says it's beautiful, Heather. Thank you so much. That's great. Yeah, I'm uh, some of these work better than others, but it's like I said, parts. Sometimes I like parts of designs and then other parts not so much, but then that's when you evolve to the next one. Like I would definitely work on this idea. In fact, I'll probably, when I do the kids workshop at the library, I'll bring these as samples. And then if any of the kids want to make some, uh, the kids come up with the most beautiful designs. Like they're amazing. I love what they create. So, uh, yeah, if I bring this to the library, they'll make some amazing things. I have to pick up more sea glass because I don't think I have enough. And, uh, yeah, I'll definitely come back and show you guys what they make because I'm sure they're going to make some amazing things. I'll take lots of pictures and stuff. So what I'm doing that day is uh, it's a Sunday the 7th at the library, the local library. So I'm going to teach uh, kids how to do ornaments with sea glass in the, in the late afternoon. And the early afternoon, I'm teaching adults how to make jewelry. So that's really fun. I don't do a lot of in-person workshops. I used to do a lot more of them, and I really love them. I really enjoy them. But I just don't have uh, as much time to do it anymore. But... Um, that would be fun if we could all get together and do some crafting in person. That would be super fun. I should do that sometime when I, if I go to one of your cities, do like a, a little workshop or something. That would be super cool. I definitely would like to do one in New York City at one, at one point. So now we want one more piece on there. I'm going to see if I have a better piece. And if not, I'll just use that one because I am kind of running. Oh, I found a purple one, but it's not, I don't know if it's the right color uh, it's a little dark so let's see what else I have and there's a lighter one here let's use a lighter one that's perfect so one last one and then we'll be done okay so we say I can see a big snowflake with a few around it okay cool that'd be awesome Heather yeah come to Detroit Ooh, that'd be fun yeah that would be really fun I've never been to Detroit the closest I think I've been to Detroit is uh, Sarnia, Ontario, because my uncle lives in Sarnia, Ontario, and I think that's pretty close to Detroit. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's near Detroit. Yeah, and uh, I've been, I would like to, actually, what I would really love to do is go to Florida this winter to go to Miami, because I have a friend in Miami, and that would be amazing to go there and uh, do do something there. And uh, I think it's pretty accessible to fly from Montreal to uh, to Miami. I think it's pretty affordable, so that's cool. So, guys, I can't believe we're almost done. So there's that one. So the other thing you could do with this is might be really cute if you added some beads along there. I'm just going to see if I do have some beads handy. That would look good there because I do have a lot of um, nice crystally kinds of beads that you could you could add you know you could go in and you can add some fun crystally beads around and stuff so maybe I'll I'll work on that I'll work on uh, adding some some beads to that so let's see what we did guys and then you guys tell me which is your favorite I love this part and we're going to bring this in oh but first let me just show you what else you could do with this one because this one if you do want to make the bends more fancy a trick that I have for that is you just take your pliers and you okay like how I'm gonna hold this so you're gonna hold it and you just take your I use my bigger round pliers and then what I do is I just do little like little flicks of the wrist you just hold it do a little flick and this one too so you would just hold it try not to like scratch it and then you just do little turns and you see how it makes it look more fancy it's it just makes it look a little bit more fancy if you go around and do that and the other advantage is it tightens up the wires so that it's more solid and so that the the glass or the stone is more uh like secure in there so uh, that's would be my last step would be to go around oh this one didn't get a lot of wire on it but uh, that's okay so we're gonna go around and just do little little flicks of the wrist and then that just 
gives it a nice little finish. It just makes it a little bit more fancy. And sometimes it's hard to access the wires, but just do your best to go in and just, well, like three or four times, you know, just three or four times just makes it look a little prettier, a little more fancy. Sometimes it spreads the wires out a little bit. And see like up here, there's like a little extra too much wire. So then if we bend it, it just tightens it up. So we're gonna go through, tighten all these up, and look, we're almost done already. So we're just tightening all these wires up. There. Perfect, so that's a little more fancy. We could do the same in the middle. We can just give it little tiny bends here. Yeah, it really makes it, makes a big difference, tightens it up, gives it a nice little effect. And then we're gonna just push these around. So guys, tell me which one is your favorite. We have the basic one, the basic snowflake, which has a lot of potential. We have the one that was the intention of the project. And then we have uh, this one here. So you guys can let me know. I'm going to, but that one is my fave. So this, the middle one, I'm gonna flip the screen. And so I can say goodbye to you guys. Whoop, no, it flipped twice, that's strange. There we go, perfect. Yes, that one, yeah, it's really cool, eh? No, I like that one, I really like the way that looks. So thank you to Debbie for uh, sending that image of that cool snowflake, and I'll, I'll put pictures, people like the middle one, yeah, that one turned out really well. So I'll put uh, photos of these in the Facebook group. I'll keep looking, um, you know, trying new designs and figuring it out. And Melissa loves the colored one. Awesome, yeah, I think that one's got a lot of potential too. I have to just fix up the sort of the edges with the coils, but I think that one has a lot of potential too. So, so guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for so much for sticking with it. And uh, Debbie says you're welcome and thank you. Perfect, well, I hope the tutorial was clear enough. And, uh, and like I said, you, the design is pretty flexible. I think there's a lot that you could do with it. I think the key is to really anchor in those crystals and then attach them together once you've got like it's it's if you make those three uh, pieces and then attach them together after it works well because otherwise if you try to do it with one long piece of wire it's going to be a big piece of wire you're going to have trouble working with it so so that's it but so guys i'm going to go i'm going to have my lunch i wish you all a lovely day and we will see you oh galen says tomorrow is her 60th birthday well happy birthday that's awesome fantastic have a great time and uh, we'll see you guys really soon bye